Hello and welcome to this video. Now we will go through unit 5 of the uh, SAP BTP building side by side extension applications SAP learning journey. Unit 5 talks about extensibility and connectivity in CAP applications. So extensibility and connectivity capabilities in CAP. What it means is that uh, it enables developers to build flexible and connected applications. So there are two aspects to it. One is extensibility and connectivity which we will go through in this video. Uh, extensibility makes your application more flexible. Uh, you are able to extend uh, your application, be it uh, extension at the data modeling level or at the business logic level or at the UI application level. So that is extensibility. Connectivity helps you to integrate seamlessly with various data sources and services. So that is uh, connectivity capability in CAP applications. Uh, we'll go through the extensibility uh, capability which is here on the left side of the screen so extensibility in cap uh, you can extend data models you can extend business logic and you can extend ui of your cap application data model extensibility means uh, so first of all data models are defined using cds in your cap application uh, when we say you can extend your data model what it means is that you can ex you can add custom entities fields and relationships to the existing data model without altering the core structure of your data model so cap provides that capability next is behavioral extensibility here cap provides service handlers and event handlers to define custom logic which we have seen in the previous uh, tutorials also that how we can make use of event handlers to um, provide behavioral extensibility in our cap application you can implement custom code for various CRUD operations validation and data transformation then ui extensibility you can customize and extend your sap fiori applications you can add ui components modifying existing views or creating custom pages so you can uh, perform this ui extensibility on your uh, existing cap application then service extensibility cap allows you to create custom o data services first of all and you you can expose additional functionality or data to external consumers you can create your own custom o data service and expose the custom functionality for external consumers then localization cap supports localization features that enables you to adapt to your adapt your application to different languages and regions uh, which are crucial for global deployments so localization is another extensibility feature which is provided by cap now we will go through the uh, connectivity capability in cap application connectivity helps you to integrate seamlessly with various data sources and services so this capability to seamlessly connect and integrate with various data sources services and sap internal or external systems now there are different types of connectivities which are available in cap first is database connectivity first of all cap abstract the database interactions allowing you to work on cds without being concerned about the underlying database so the underlying database can be anything there are multiple databases which are supported by cap uh, such as SAP HANA, SQL Lite, H2, Postgres SQL. So there could be any of the underlying database, uh, but for you, you only have to work uh, creating the CDS views. So you work on CDS without being concerned about the underlying database. Then service connectivity, CAP applications interact with external service and APIs using HTTP based calls, REST, GraphQL and other protocols. So that is service connectivity. You can consume external services in your CAP application. Now event based connectivity. CAP supports event driven architecture allowing you allowing your applications to emit and listen for events. So that is event based connectivity. It facilitates real time data synchronization and communication between different parts of your application or with external systems using event based connectivity. Then message queues and event brokers cap can integrate with message queuing systems and event brokers like sap enterprise messaging or third party solutions so this enables asynchronous communication and event driven processing next is sap integration cap can easily integrate with other sap solutions such as sap integration suite cloud integration api management then security and OAuth integration cap provides built-in support for authentication and authorization including oauth 2.0 this makes it easier to secure uh, your application and integrate it with identity providers or sap's authentication services 
so these are the connectivity capabilities which are provided by cap and these are the extensibility capabilities which are provided by cap next up is business accelerator hub so what is business accelerator hub it is the central repository and platform provided by sap that offers a comprehensive catalog of sap and non sap apis so it is a central hub for which provides a comprehensive catalog of sap and non sap apis it includes documentation specifications and resources to help developers discover explore and consume apis effectively now we'll go through our application the scenario which we have to understand um, we have our risk management application uh, which we have created in the previous units and our risk management application it basically retrieves some data from the local database and which is exposed by an odata service which we have created now we have a use case for our risk management application that we also want to show the business partner related data in our risk management application and that business partner data it resides in an s4 hana cloud system so we will consume this data by making a call to this external system which is a remote system for us so this is the user and in our application when the user intends to show business partners or pick bp for risks there is a call which will be triggered to the external system a remote service call and which will retrieve the business partner related information in our risk management application so this is what we are going to implement in our use case so to achieve this first of all our cap application should connect to the remote service that is the first and foremost thing the cap application need to know the remote service definition the service definition is made available by the service provider here the service provider is the sap s4 hana cloud system which provides the service now this definition of the remote service edmx files are used for this edmx files are for odata v2 and v4 are supported for service definition edmx file just remember this now connect your app with the business partner api sandbox environment of the sap api business hub we know that all the services which are a cap application any external service which are cap application need to consume that Uh, external service uh, it will be available in the sap api business hub so first of all our application it needs to connect with the business partner api sandbox environment of the sap api business hub because sap business api hub provides all the details it is a catalog for all the external services both sap and non sap to do that first of all we have to configure an application defined destination in node js by just adding this configuration on the package.json file so in the package.json file of our cap application we need to add this piece of code where it defines the destination so this is an application defined destination which we are maintaining here in our node js application in the package.json file so here this is the model and this is the credentials this is basically the link uh, to the sap business api uh, business partner api in the sandbox environment then sap btp destination and connectivity services so so sap btp also provides services for uh, destination and connectivity so using the destination service what we can do we can retrieve and store the technical information about the target resource which is the destination that you need to connect your application to a remote service or system so we can make use of the destination service to retrieve and store the technical information about the target resource that is also what we can make use of then comes the connectivity service connectivity service provides a connectivity proxy that you can use to access on premise resources so that is what connectivity service does now if the external system is on premise the cloud connector will need to be configured in order to use the on premise resources so this is just a brief overview about the sap destination and connectivity service in our application we can make use of the destination service by storing the target destination in the destination service in sap btp and then when we deploy our cap application to the sap btp cloud foundry environment our application basically will connect to this particular service instance of the destination service so that is all about this particular unit which talks about extensibility and connectivity in cap application 
in the next video we'll go through the contents of the next unit uh, where where we will go through the exercise and do the step by step uh, for uh, to implement all these the extensibility and connectivity concepts in our uh, application basically our risk management application we will connect it to the remote uh, business partner service from the sap api hub thank you for watching the video and have a nice day